Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to talk again about scanners, the iTero, and specifically which iTero should you get. And I have a lot of videos already made about scanners. As a matter of fact, I think I have my own playlist. So if you go to my YouTube site, not YouTube in general, my YouTube site, Straight Smile Solutions, you can search through the playlist on the homepage or you can go to that little magnifying glass um, and search by keyword. You can put in iTero, you can put in scanner and all the information will come up. Today I'm specifically on the iTero website and thank you Invisalign for letting me make this video. Actually, I didn't ask permission, but I'm making it anyways. As always Invisalign, you know how to reach me. And peoples out there, I do not work for Invisalign. Never have, never will. I just make content videos. You guys ask questions, I answer the questions my way, my answers, my opinions. If they're wrong or if anything I'm saying in this video is incorrect, Invisalign, you are more than welcome to contact me and I'll be give me the correct information because you haven't responded to my inquiries on this question when I've reached out to your team members on LinkedIn and other places. Nobody's responding to me, so I'm just going to make my video based on my knowledge. Like I said, if it's incorrect or you want it remade, feel free to send me the proper information and I'll remake it. So, um, all right, which iTero should you get? So let's say you decided on the iTero. So watch all my other videos on the why behind that. Obviously, it's not always the right fit for everybody. But if you have decided on the iTero, here's some tricks and tips to get the lowest possible price, which one you should pick. Obviously, everybody wants new and shiny things and the latest, the greatest. But is that the best thing for you? So basically it's almost impossible to get a price quote without getting a demo. Um, so here's what I've talked to so many doctors and here's basically I'm compiling all their information. So a lot of it depends on where you live regionally, depending on the price quote. It also depends on maybe what your rank is within Invisalign. Obviously if you're a little bit higher, they know that you're going to do a lot more cases. They can maybe come down a little bit on the price, but for the most part, um, this plus or this 5d is running more around 37 to 41 K is my understanding. And a little bit more, if you're getting the fancier screen, the bigger screen, um, you can get there's portable options and other stuff. Obviously those are going to cost more. So somewhere between 37 and 41 K. If you have an existing medit scanner and some other scanners, they do have a trade in program, which is around 15,000. I think it depends on what scanner you have and the quality of the scanner, but that will help to lower that. Um, keep in mind that there is a support fee, so it's not a completely open scanner. You do have to purchase the support. Um, you can pay for the, you can bundle the support in and finance it all up front. Like a five year support is an additional 21 K or so that makes it about $50,000 unless you have the trade in. Uh, and you get pretty good financing on that because you know you're going to eat anyways. Otherwise, it's about $360 a month in support. So you do need to factor that in. You also need to factor in the price of the tips um, for the 5D and some of these other ones. I believe they're about $5 per tip, which is a fair amount. I think most of their tips are disposable. It's pretty expensive. I wish you could buy it in bulk. Um, they might have some autoclavable ones, but I heard they're very fragile and... Obviously, it takes labor to autoclave them, but I don't really know. I don't think they last very long. Someone said they had them. I didn't even know they had them. So if you for certainly if you're listening to this video and you have more information, feel free to post the correct information in the comment section because I don't mind that at all because I'm always learning. Um, another option is the two. The two is basically the workhorse. It will do pretty much everything the five can do just a tad slower, like a couple seconds slower maybe not as pretty graphics aren't as pretty it doesn't have that neary technology so the neary technology certainly if you were a pediatric dentist or if you saw a ton of kiddos it would make more sense to get the 5d neary because it has the caries detection which is incredibly powerful to show parents and you know um to catch early decay to catch things that the patient you know isn't going to be able to sit still for x-rays or something i mean i think that's that's a no-brainer for a pedo um or for a practice that is general and does a lot of kids for a regular orthodontist. I mean, I think you could just, if you're just using it only for restorative and aligners, I would just get the two because it's way cheaper. So the two is running around 21 K is my understanding somewhere around there. 20,000. I don't know if they have a trade in program for the two. That would be cool. 
but my understanding is at the moment the trade is only for the fancy sh new one um but you know twenty thousand twenty one thousand is not bad plus the tips for the two are only about three dollars each of course i think you still have the support i don't know if it's the same price or not i'm assuming it is so basically your cost for the support is almost the same price for five years as the cost for the two so i mean it's going to be almost the same price right so if you can i know i i hesitate to purchase support up front because I think these things can totally change. The other thing that is kind of cool is that you, they have a try it to buy it option. And I think this is really quite tempting. It's a 90 day program. You get it. I think you can get the, I know you can get the two. I don't know if you can get the five. I'm assuming you can. I know if you get the two, you can try it and you can upgrade to the five. I know the five has about a two month wait to get set up. But I think you can get the or to get it delivered. I'm telling people, or maybe it's not that. Maybe it's just for the training and like onboarding. It takes two months. It's not immediate. I think the two is faster. Don't know if that's true. This is just what I'm hearing. People are telling me once you decide to pull the trigger, it takes many months before you're up and running. And I think that's unfortunate. Um, but you know, again, if I'm incorrect on that, feel free to let me know. I'm not sure why that is. But someone said with the two, you can get it really, really fast. So personally, unless you were a pediatric dentist or somebody who saw tons of kiddos and were using it for cavity detection, to me, it makes more sense to get the two unless you got the trade in and then you can trade in for the five. But all right, that's pretty much all I have to say. But remember, the benefit of the iTero is, of course, you can use it for Invisalign. And it also, it's got that outcome simulator, which is incredibly powerful in order to sell the case. Because seeing is believing once they see what it looks like, you know, without having to even submit for the clin check, just right on the spot, you know, oh, wow, that's my teeth, but they're straight, you know, um, very, very, very powerful. And I also heard that you can switch out the wand on the two. You can pay a little extra to get the super slim lighter wand. So that might be a good idea, too. And they also have a laptop version and I'll have it on here, but I'm not sure if it's only in the five or if they have it in the five and the two and what the price is. But it's just, I believe, the wand only, and then you plug it into any computer. But it's nice because in that case, it's portable, and you can just take it from op to op, office to office, instead of having it on a gigantic rolling cart. Um, so that's really, really, you know, if you've got multiple offices, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I know some doctors that will just basically have a certain day in each office be an Invisalign day, and they bring the iTero in for that day. And if you're scheduled for a consult, then you know, they do it on that day. I mean, it's always better to have it in every office because I think for general and pediatric dentists, you really should be scanning every single patient in your office every single time they come in. Well, I mean, not that, but at least once a year, you know, because standard of care is fixing bites and pretty much everyone needs something. So unless you present the patient the options, they don't really understand it. So it's always great. It's non-invasive. Scans don't irradiate or anything like that. So it's just a series of photos, basically, you know, like a hundred thousand photos, <laughs> you know, and it just, it just meshes those photos together into a seamless scan. So it's pretty totally non-invasive, you know, for me, I don't see any problem with everybody having a scan once a year, but all right. Thanks so much. And I always say, challenge me, show me your clean check with your records, challenge me. I will find a reason this patient needs treatment. I'm not saying that I'm overselling. I'm just saying that I have a set of eyes that can explain the why. Very rarely will I say they do not need treatment. And that would be somebody that was already treated probably and has retainers. So, I mean, anyone from age basically seven on up is a potential candidate in my world. It might be something minor, but that doesn't mean just because you think it's minor doesn't mean the patient thinks it's minor. And so often patients don't even know they are offering treatment and they don't even know that they're a candidate. They may not even know that they have insurance benefits for that. So all you can do is just educate your patient, give them options. Don't be super salesy. Just explain the why and let them make their own decisions. All right. Thanks so much.